is a video in the Legal Research Fundamentals series. It discusses how to use jury instructions as a part of your research strategy. It's odd to think of using jury instructions at the beginning of a case when you're first researching issues, but many lawyers are big believers in this practice. It seems counterintuitive. The jury instructions, after all, go to the jury at trial. But they actually are a secondary authority, one you can use when you're unfamiliar with an area of law. If you're representing the plaintiff, the jury instructions can help you understand your claims or causes of action, and therefore they can help you write the complaint. If you represent the defendant, they can help you write the answer. By reading the jury instructions, you'll know what the elements of the causes of action are and which elements need to be disproved and denied. And regardless which side you're representing, they'll help you with discovery. You need to write all of your interrogatories, deposition questions, document requests, and so forth with the claims in mind. The jury instructions will familiarize you with those claims. Jury instructions, like any secondary authority, are important springboards to binding authorities. They themselves are merely persuasive, but the notes, annotations, or footnotes underneath the instructions will direct you to binding authorities. There are various types of jury instructions. There are state jury instructions, there are federal jury instructions, and there are both civil and criminal jury instructions. Of course, you can find hard copies of the jury instructions in any law library. For example, this is a hard copy of the Colorado Civil Jury Instructions. And this is a hard copy of the first volume of the Federal Civil Jury Instructions. So whatever your case, be it civil or criminal, in state court or federal court, you can often find important introductory information in the jury instructions.